Hello and welcome to Learning and Technology. My name is Frank and I'm glad that you're here. But you might be wondering where exactly is here? Well, I'm outdoors obviously and in this video that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about using mobile devices in order to learn no matter where we are. And I do encourage people to get outdoors. If you're learning something new, it's a great place to kind of relax and kind of get back to nature, which has been proven to actually increase your ability to learn and relax and really focus on things. So whether it's a park bench reading a book or whether it's a full mobile learning experience like I'm going to talk about today. And I'm going to talk about how we can do this mobile learning with just a few items. So we could of course haul a laptop around. We could, I mean, you could haul around a manual typewriter if you want to the park, but that's a little bit, you know, weird, right? You're not gonna haul a manual typewriter around, but you could bring a laptop and some laptops are small and lightweight. Um, even an iPad is a great device that we can have, but I wanna show you some things where I can just use my smartphone and a couple of little pocket utilities that will allow me to not have to carry anything except what's in my pockets and still have a rich, full learning experience. So let's have a look at that. It might not look like it, but I have an entire classroom right here with me, right here in my pocket. So you'll see that I have my smartphone with me and your students could have a smartphone or an Android device. And then I have a small foldable keyboard that provides all of the experiences I need to be able to write, to be able to participate in Zoom calls or team meetings, and to do remote learning anywhere that I might be. This is a great opportunity to get students outside, especially right now when we're all locked inside. So get your students outside, have them work with remote tools in order to not be stuck at home in their basement, but actually getting out and enjoying a little bit of nature while learning at the same time. Let's go have a look at some of these devices and how they can help us in our remote teaching. So we want students to be able to learn no matter where they are. And going outdoors, we've already established, is a great way to decompress and get them out of the familiar environment so that they can be focused on learning and, and enjoying nature a little bit. But what do they actually use when they're out there learning? Now, it could just be simply nothing. They could just go out, they could come back to the classroom environment in their, on their computer and they can contribute maybe an essay or maybe describe or write something about their experience. But what if we want them to go and collect information or what if they even want to go out and write? or do something more substantial in terms of online learning, or even participate through a cellular network or cellular data, have them participate in an online class. Well, we of course could have them carry around a laptop with them, but even the lightest laptops, if you're carrying it around with you all day, can be a little bit burdensome. Now you might say, well, I'll go with an iPad. Well, you know, the difference between an iPad and a laptop is, is getting to be pretty thin these days. These are pretty full featured and laptops are getting smaller and smaller, but you can get the iPad with a full keyboard attachment to it. And with the new Scribble app in iOS 14 and the stylus, you can sit there and write with the iPad. And it's also my preferred way to read books and magazines. That being said, this is not going to fit into your pocket. I don't, unless you have really big clown pants or something like that. And you know, nothing against clowns. I mean, they could, maybe clowns are really just people who like to learn remotely with iPads. I, mean, I don't think so. But what if you have just your pockets and you want to be really mobile, you want to be really lightweight? Well, of course, we all know our good friend, the smartphone. So we could bring a smartphone with us and that can be great. You can participate in meetings, you can take notes, you can take photos, you can take audio, you can do a ton of things. And one of the things I recommend is just a little pair of headphones, either wireless Bluetooth headphones, or you could even use wired headphones, which are very inexpensive. And you can do things like listen to audiobooks. I, I read Kindle books on here all the time. So eBooks are on here all the time. And I can have dozens and dozens of books with me without the bulk of having to put those into a backpack. So right there you have a little combination that fits right in your pocket that allows you to learn anywhere. But let's extend this a little bit. Let's look at how we can make this even a better experience. And one of the things I recommend is one of these. Now it's not another smartphone. It's actually a small foldable Bluetooth keyboard. And what this allows me to do is if I'm sitting down at a picnic table or if I'm sitting somewhere at a cafe or something where I can put this on the table, this, this little keyboard comes with a handy dandy little stand, which is again, very small. I've opened it up here and I can put my iPhone on the stand and I can take my keyboard and I've got effectively an entire portable computer that fits directly 
into my pocket. So now we can have students walk around, they've got a, key, a keyboard, they've got their iPhone, their Android device, and they're able to learn no matter where they are. We can also, if we are going to be out for a long time, we can have some sort of portable power bank. So we could bring some sort of power bank and a cord with us that will allow us to go through and make sure that we don't run out of energy while we're, well, we're different types of energy, but we don't run out of power to our smart devices when we're on the go. Now this one happens to be a little bit larger and a little bit heavier than a lot of the ones you can find. You can get uh, little ones that are about the size of a pack of gum. Again, fits in your, in your pocket and it'll charge your phone once or twice. This one can charge it quite a few times and I use this for powering camera gear and such. So there we have a very, very small mobile classroom. This big, fits in your pocket, keyboard, video, audio, uh, everything we need. So we have a whole classroom right there in our pocket. Now the other thing that's always important to bring with you no matter where you're going or where you're learning is a bottle of water. Can't change the size of that, bring a liter, bring a couple liters, bring uh, you know 750 mils, whatever it is, but make sure you always have water no matter where you go. Okay, so I hope that was useful for you and I hope you'll consider extending your online learning to outside learning, to mobile learning and to enjoying nature while you learn. Whether it's reading a book, typing an essay, composing a poem, whatever it may be, there's lots of opportunities to incorporate the outdoors into our learning experiences.